Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have just been to the thrift store. I feel like I got some really good deals today and I'm excited to share everything I got with you. All right, if you're new here, hi, I'm Claire. Welcome, come on in, I love a good haul. I like a grocery haul, I like a good deals haul because I'm a person who loves good deals, uh, but I especially love a thrift haul. I have an entire playlist of thrift hauls. I will leave a link to it down below if you wanna see some of my past great finds. Today I was really on the hunt for some clothes. Um, if you follow me, you may know, if you don't, well, Here's a little tidbit. I lost 130 pounds last year. So none of my like spring clothes, I don't like have any, have any, I don't have any clothes at all. Um, and while some of the summer things, jeans, t-shirts are quite versatile, I was really lacking in like the right colors and textures and stuff for springtime. And if you also follow me, you may know that I made a deal with myself. One of my goals for 2023 was to not buy any new clothing. So I'm trying to only thrift things. So I'm really excited. I got some great pieces. I didn't try any pieces on before I bought them because the fitting rooms at my local thrift store are closed. They never opened them back up after like everything shut down. So you are gonna get a nice clothing try on, which I love doing on these videos because you guys always either like totally gas me up if I'm like, oh, I feel frumpy. You're always like, that looks amazing. Or sometimes you'll be like, girl, don't wear that. And I'm like, thank you. I need someone. I need someone to tell me if it's good or not. And I trust you guys. All right, let's just get right into it because I feel like I've been babbling a lot. Um, all right, we'll do the clothes at the end. I'll show you the other stuff I got first. Guys, oh, <sighs> okay. I do tons of hilariously fun cooking content on this channel with vintage cookbooks. You guys, I found a Better Homes and Gardens microwave cookbook. Oh, what do you mean? You wanna, you wanna meatloaf in the microwave? Oh my God, you better believe I snatched this right up. I only paid $1.99 for it. Uh, and this is from 1976. So it's like, ooh, brand new microwave. Don't you wanna make dinner for the whole family in it? And normally that's a no, but of course we have to try it. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So stay tuned for this because you know I'm dying to get into that. Next you guys, this is also in like the kitchen section. I got pie weights. These were $2.99, which is a great deal. If you don't know, pie weights are when you're making like a pie crust uh, to prevent it from like puffing up, you put the pie weights in the crust. Like you pour them on there while you bake it so it doesn't get puffy. Right now I use a sheet of parchment paper with some like rice or beans in it and that works just fine, but I would, I always wanted like some designated actual pie weight so I don't have to use my parchment paper and you know, all that. And they had them, they had them, they had them at the thrift store. Pie weights for all my pie adventures. All right, next you guys, this is a little random. I got this baby carrier and I know you're thinking, but Claire, your children are almost six and seven years old. Do I need a baby carrier? No, I don't. However, you guys, one of my good friends is having a party that's um, the hangover, like the movie theme. And so she needed a baby carrier to be that dude from the hangover with the baby. Um, and so she had uh, Snapchatted me earlier showing her costume and she was like, oh, I just need a baby carrier. So of course, your girl pulling through here for $1.99. So this will be perfect for a costume and when she's done, she can just donate it back and then someone with a baby can get it and use it. So always looking out, always have a friend that's a thrifter, give them your list of things you're looking out for because I can't tell you how many times I find things for other people who like are hunting for specific stuff. Like right now, I'm really trying to find those chicken or like the hen dishes, you know, like the old old school ones in all the different colors. I, I'm hunting for those, so. All, all of my other thrifting friends, I'm like, find me the chickens. Okay, next, um, I really, this is kind of expensive for what it is, but I just couldn't help myself. They had this bin of all these darling little napkins and little like doily situations. It is, it is attached, let me. It does have a stain in the center, but I feel like I could get this out with a tied stick or something. This is just an embroidered little like mat for the table. And I love a table and I love a vintage table. So for $3, I thought this was so cool. You know, you put your, your casserole in the center or your roasted chicken and I'm gonna wash it, I'm gonna press it. Somebody, you know, spent a long time creating this in a bygone era and I'm excited to bring it back to life. I love, love, love a beautiful vintage table. So I just thought that would look good 
in my uh, in my dining room. And along those lines, I also got a table runner that was in that same section. That's this like like lace, but it's vintage. So I just thought that would look cool. I like changing up my centerpieces and my table all the time. And I especially like a runner because a tablecloth just gets too dirty with my kids. I cannot actually have dinner with my kids with a tablecloth more than like one night. And I'm not trying to change the tablecloth every day. So a runner is the perfect solution to this. And I thought this was gloriously vintage and springy and into summer I can use it. And yeah, that bin was really cool. If I needed like tons of napkins, like it would have been great, but it's just like not something I'm really gonna use. So I opted for the runner uh, and it was $2.99. Okay, next I got a pair of shoes. And I don't think, I'm trying to think of like any shoes I've ever bought at the thrift store. They never have my size. I'm like a 10 and a half, sometimes a 10, sometimes an 11, it kind of depends. And hunting through shoes, trying to find a pair that fits me is so difficult, let alone one that fits me and like is in good shape and is also a style I like. I just really never have good luck with shoes. But today all of the shoes were 50% off, so I like tried a little harder to like look and I actually found a really nice pair. These are by Rocket Dog, so like a reputable brand. They're not just some random brand. And like, look at the bottoms. These are hardly worn at all. And they're my size. I tried them on. They were a great fit. Maybe not for spring, but I'll hold on to these till the fall. Um, I do have something kind of similar that are gray. Uh, they don't have the zipper, but, um, and they're like shorter, like a shorter booty situation, but they're gray. So I didn't have anything like comparable to these. So I know that they'll get a lot of views. I try not to buy too many shoes that could be like, that are like too similar that they're basically interchangeable with an outfit. Like there's no point in like wasting all of my space on them. So I got these, they were $5.99, but like I said, all the shoes and boots were 50% off. So I only paid $3 for this pair and they are basically new. And those aren't the only shoes I walked away with. Today I also got a pair for my son Desmond. He's about to turn six. I got him these cute little white Converse's. Now they're not perfectly white, um, but I think I could probably throw them in the washing machine and on the tops here, if you use like a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, it does wonders on shoes. And like they're not very worn, you can see on the bottom. These are uh, a size, I wanna say they're a 12, a 13. So they're probably just a smidge big for him right now, which is perfect. So these were $2.99, but like I said, we got 50% off. I only paid a dollar 50 for these little Converse's. I thought that was, that was a crazy good deal. All right, so one more thing that's not clothing. Um, I got a book. I picked up The Lovely Bones, which is like a really famous and popular novel that I've never read. And this was actually in a stack that was um, at the checkout and it was like, have a book for free. So I think they just have like, too many books. So they just put a big stack of them out there and were like, have a free book. So I just grabbed it. I read all the time. All right, everything else is clothing. And I'm excited, but also nervous because like I said, I didn't try any of this on. Oh, one of them's not for me. Let's start with that one because I will not be trying this on. I did get my oldest son, Fox, this cute little Hawaiian button-up shirt. Their kids' clothes are $1.99 a piece. It's in perfect shape, not a single stain or anything. I thought it was really cute. My kids don't have like a lot of button-up or like nicer type things. Lots of t-shirts, uh, not a lot of things like this. So I always like to keep at least a couple in the closet in case we have somewhere like kind of nice to go. Like my cousin has a graduation open house we're gonna go to pretty soon here. He'll need something a little nicer for that. So I thought we would get that. So two bucks, great deal. Now it's time for my clothes. And you guys, I got some weird stuff and I also got a bathing suit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that on for you. But first we're gonna do the shirts. Try to be like methodical about how I'm trying things on. So let's get started on the try on portion. Okay, so the first article of clothing I got for myself is just this tank top. Um, it's not that exciting. Uh, $3.99, I think the like average clothing price, I think they're just all $3.99 unless it's like a dress or like a coat or something special or like the kids clothes. But all the women's clothes are basically $4 a piece. It's just the tank top. I could probably go to Walmart and buy one for like eight bucks, but like whatever. Again, I'm not buying new clothes 2023, so. Um, basically I just needed some more really comfortable things for like when I'm working in the garden because I'm obsessed with my garden and I need more like, you know, fitness clothes, but not to do real fitness, to do garden fitness. All right, it fits. It is a size large. It's from a brand called RBX, which I don't know, could be Target or Meyer or something. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be like wildly high quality, but it's, you know, that like stretchy, breathable fabric. 
I mean, it fits me and it looks perfect for a 90 degree day while I'm out there watering and weeding and doing all the things in the garden. So I would say this is a win. All right, next I picked up a sweater. Uh, I really just was drawn to like the color and like honestly, when I go thrifting, like it's just racks of clothes. So it's gotta be something that has a great color or a great texture that's really gonna make something like stand out for me because if you're just going through hundreds of shirts, Eventually it all gets a little boring. So I saw this, I really loved uh, the material. It's like super soft. It's by Philosophy, size large. And yeah, here for the mustard. I think it's good for this time of year where we're layering a lot. It's definitely kind of short, which I know is like the style these days. Um, but yeah, really. Pretty like simple yet effective. I really love the color. I'm not sure it's like a good color for me. Have you guys heard of those people like on Tik? I know it's not like a TikTok thing, but that's where I'm hearing of it. Like people who like color match their like complexions and stuff to being like a spring or like an autumn. Should I get that done? Is it worth it? What am I? What do you think I am? I don't know. Anyway, for $3.99, it's really soft and I like it. All right, next. I picked up this like striped shirt. It's by Studio Works for women. It's a 1X, so bigger than what I normally wear. I wear usually like a large, but I kind of saw this and thought like maybe I could like layer it or I could like tie it, you know, like all the, all the young people are doing nowadays. I do like that it's got kind of like an air of menswear to it a bit. I'm here for that look. It's kind of like gothic coastal grandma. I don't know. Okay, actually, I think this is totally cute. I was thinking maybe, you know, I could tie it and it would be cute, like a little, like a little tie situation. I'm here for it. I think it's really darling. And it's like nice and thin, so it's good for this time of year because I can just throw it over something. But it's not gonna make me like really hot or warm. Oh my gosh. Cute. All right, one more item to try on before I get to the jumpsuit because honestly, if you watch these videos, you know, if it's a romper, if it's a jumpsuit, if it's a unitard, I don't know, a bodysuit, you know I cannot leave it. I have to try it even though it hardly ever works. We'll get to that after this. But first, I've got one more little blouse situation. Um, this one, kind of like the last one, I had the same idea, but this one is from New York and Company and it's a large. And really, I was just obsessed with the color. The color drew me to it immediately. And this one is like a lot thinner, like it's sheer. You can see through it. So definitely perfect for this time of year. Not only is the color nice and bright and springy, but just giving me a little bit of like warmth without, without a lot. Okay, all right, we got the whole hook thing. I guess I could do that over here. All right, same kind of situation. I could tie it. This one's a little smaller because it's like a large, but I could still, I could still do a tying situation. I don't know, I could do it up here. Are they doing that now? I don't know. Every time I try on clothes, I feel really old. Are they doing this? I don't, I don't know. Forget you saw that. I might just button it up and just wear it like it's supposed to be worn. All right, so jumpsuit time. Here she is. And this one is $5.99 because like, like I said, the larger, longer, whatever pieces are often more expensive. And, and here it is. It's like a camel jumpsuit with like wide legs. Uh, this is from Old Navy and here's where I'm a little worried. It's a size medium. Normally I wear a large, sometimes an extra large, but a lot of times I'm like, I could be a medium up top, but a larger extra large on the bottom. So like a jumpsuit, it, it hardly ever works, but when it does, it's glorious. And if you've watched me before, try on this stuff, you know, I'm five foot 10. I got long legs and a long torso. I'm long in all the ways. So a lot of times this kind of thing is not good in the crotch region. It like pulls on me, if that makes sense. But we are gonna try it. And I thought it was worth, it was worth the risk. And honestly, my husband hates when I wear this kind of stuff like hates it and that makes me like it more because somewhere within me it feels good to like be the opposite of what men want. I don't know. Do you feel that way sometimes? Because I do. Okay so first of all it's a little bit small in the bust which is surprising because 
on my body, my bust is one of the smallest parts. Uh, so that's kind of weird. Actually, it feels like it's riding up a lot more than it looks like it does. It actually doesn't look that bad. Ugh. But it, oh, look at my wedgie. No, don't look at my wedgie. I don't, I don't know if I want you to see this or if I don't want you to see this. I guess I'll decide when I'm editing this. Um, I want to love it so bad, but I just feel like if it was a large, or maybe if I had like one extra inch on the inseam, then it would be fine. What if I, what if I cut this and then made it into a dress? I love the pantness of it, but I wanted this to work so bad. And I know that it doesn't probably look that bad, but it's a little, a little short. This is the content you come here for. I know it. Uh, because lastly, guys, I'm gonna try on a whole bathing suit for you because I'm really feeling uh, like sharing myself on the internet today. Okay, so like probably most humans that are alive, uh, bathing suit shopping, sometimes not my favorite thing. You've gotta confront bits of your body that you maybe don't always love. And like, hey, everybody's got those bits, you know? It's fine. Uh, however, my least favorite part is my upper thigh area. Um, as I mentioned before, losing that much weight in that amount of time has left me a little, a little flabby in there, uh, to put it nicely. And when I discovered that you could buy swim trunks for women, I was like, mm. Swim trunks for women, that's what I need. That's perfect. I want a comfortable swim short that I can wear all day at the beach like it's clothes and then get in the water if I want to. I thought this was perfect. But of course, I challenged myself not to buy anything new. So I didn't buy any. I cannot believe that I found these at the thrift store. Is this the ideal style for me? Mm, I would want something maybe a little cuter, maybe a little high-waisted. I don't know, but the fact that they were at the thrift store, just it just made it good. So it's like, it's like how a men's swim trunk would be, but it's got a liner, like, like, like a swimsuit. So these are from a brand called South Point. They're a size 14, so right up my alley, and they were $3.99. And then I was like, okay, I need a top though to go with them. So I'm like looking, they didn't really have anything, but then I found, okay, a one piece that's a polo. And this looks so small. Again, I'm really long and that also can have consequences with one piece swimsuits because of the length of my torso. However, I thought, you know, whatever, I've got little shorts. So even if it's a little funky down there, I can put the shorts on. So this also was $4.99. So I spent $9 on this bathing suit combo. And now I'm gonna try it on and we're gonna see if that was indeed a good deal. Okay, I have just the suit part on. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you down there because it is all the way up. Like my, my whole butt is, is out. Um, but it's just important that the top half fits me, right? And it does. It's cute. I'm cool with it. So let's hope, let's hope the bottoms fit. Gosh, guys, swim trunks for women. Like why did I not know that this was a thing until now? Oh my gosh, look at me. I'm ready for the pool, guys. I'm in a, a $9, a $9 swim outfit. And it covers the bits that I don't wanna show. I mean, there's lots of bits I don't wanna show, but like, you can't go swimming and not show any of your bits. You know what I mean? You gotta show some. But, you know, the thighs. The thighs are covered. Oh, I'm obsessed with these shorts. Oh, I wanna buy them in every color that they have, even though this is the only swimsuit I have, so that's kind of silly. But they match, they match. This looks like a cohesive, a cohesive swim ensemble. Gosh, that was a great find. All right, you guys, that was my entire thrift haul. Thank you for coming on this dramatic journey of trying clothing on with me. Um, I spent like 48 bucks on everything total, which I think is a crazy good deal, because that's probably like how much one pair of those shoes cost new. And I got loads of stuff. I think my favorite thing, I'm just gonna say, it's these shorts. It's it's the swim trunks. I like the swimsuit with it, but like, I'm, I'm still really amazed that these exist and that I found a pair and that they fit me and that I like them. And I just really feel like uh, the thrift gods have really blessed me today. Of course, hit that subscribe button if you like this type of content because I go to the thrift store all the time uh, and I usually make a video if I find some really good stuff. So 
uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Check out the playlist if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!